Hello friends, welcome to MBBS Buddy. In this video, we are going to learn about the intraocular pressure or the IOP. So the IOP or intraocular pressure is the measure of fluid pressure inside our eye. And it is the pressure exerted by the aqueous humor on the vitreous chamber. Okay, as we know that aqueous humor is present between the lens and the cornea. And uh, behind that we have the vitreous humor or the uh, chamber which is which have the vitreous humor is the vitreous chamber. So the pressure exerted by the aqueous humor on the vitreous chamber is the intraocular pressure. Okay. It has the normal range of 12 to 20 millimeter of Hg and it is measured by the tonometer. Okay. As we know that the aqueous humor is formed into the ciliary process of the ciliary body okay this is the ciliary body and uh, here are some ciliary processes there is capillary mesh or capillary bed there uh, with, uh, where the uh, ultrafiltration and diffusion occurs from which we get our uh, aqueous humor and this aqueous humor for, uh, travels from from posterior chamber to the anterior chamber through the pupil here's the iris and here's the, that opening which is known as the pupil so it goes from uh, posterior chamber to the anterior chamber in front of lens and uh, then goes into the canal system uh, for its drainage so if there is imbalance uh, between the rate of formation and rate of drainage there uh, there is build up of some pressure and uh, this pressure is exerted on the lens and uh, the vitreous chamber and this pressure is known as the intraocular pressure so this is the basis of the intraocular pressure if the pressure rises to 60 to 70 millimeter of hg then this condition is known as the glaucoma and uh, it is caused by a very less amount of drainage or uh, any blockage into the canal system which drains the aqueous humor and uh, the range of 20 to 60 millimeter of Hg it is neither the glau glaucomic condition or norm uh, or the normal range it is known as the ocular hypertension okay here's the uh, device tonometer which is used to uh, calculate the uh, intraocular pressure or IOP uh, the procedure which is done to measure the uh, intraocular pressure what is done actually is uh, the eye is uh, numbed by using the anesthesia or anesthetic fluid and then uh, this portion of tonometer is kept in contact with the cornea or pressed to pressed on it so the actual reading can be taken and uh, this is how the intraocular pressure is measured uh, this is the old technology nowadays uh, there is a electronic tonometer which gives the reading okay and uh, how the glaucoma is developed is uh, like uh, in the normal eye we know that uh, the pathway of drainage it is drained uh, very normally and continuously so no pressure or no extra pressure is built on the vitreous body okay if uh, there is a blockage into the canals then the build up of fluid or the build up of pressure increases and uh, finally we come on the increased pressure and it damages the vessels and the optic nerve so the increased iop finally leads to the blindness due to the damage to the optic nerve okay so this was all about the intraocular pressure or iop uh, hope you guys like this video and uh, if you liked it uh, then uh, hit the like button uh, do share and uh, subscribe to our channel if you have any queries or want to add anything uh, please comment in the comment box thanks for watching